In this video, staff solution consultant Laura Lever walks us through how to use virtual events for GoToWebinar. When you log into your GoToWebinar dashboard, you'll see a new tab called Virtual Events. When we click on this tab, it's going to allow us to manage new virtual events. We'll be able to see past events as well as upcoming events. If I wanted to schedule a new event, I simply come over to Schedule and I select a virtual event. That's going to allow me to give it a time frame and also a title and begin scheduling the sessions and the parameters around this virtual event. Once we've given the event a, a time frame and a title, we'll be able to come in and establish all parameters around this event. You'll see here that there's a place for multiple organizers. So we're able to bring in a variety of organizers and provide their title, organization, and bio description. So you're going to be able to have a lot of information about individuals. What's really great is you have the ability to add in social media links so that people can find them and research their backgrounds and really know who's going to be presenting to them at an event. Once you've determined who your organizers are, it's time to put in company information. We're going to be able to put in information that you want publicized on the primary page, add in something like a website. When we add the website, it's as simple as putting in the URL. You can copy and paste this in, and that would allow us to go out to social media platforms too, so we can get to Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn and have those quick, easy buttons on our front facing page. After we add in the company's links and information, it's time to go ahead and create the registration page. What we want to do is create a main landing page that people will arrive at where they research the details of the event. What's great is we can bring in one image, so we have the ability here just to go ahead and grab an image off of a desktop or from something like OneDrive or Dropbox and bring it in. And once we do, this image is going to appear at the top of the page during registration and throughout the event. It's a theme of the event, as well as a description as to what's going to be happening during the course of this event. Once we have the main registration imaging set, the next thing we want to do is determine who our panelists are going to be. Who are going to be the people that come in as guest speakers in the different sessions we'll have in the event? You'll have the ability here to come in to panelists. You can see I've already added a few. And we'll have the name of the panelists as well as the description. And again, those links to social media and websites as well as LinkedIn and a great headshot area. So you'll still have the ability to add in up to 25 staff members for these events. Now that we have our panelists, it's time to get into the agenda. Under the agenda in sessions, you can see here I've already added a few and they're staggered. So at a glance as an organizer, I can see overlaps that I have for the different sessions that are going to be taking place. And these small icons have the headshots of the panelists for the different sessions within this entire agenda. So when we go in to add a new live session, we select the link to add a new session. And this brings us into a place where we're able to edit. Um, we give the session a name. Uh, we have the ability here if, if we're kind of ready or still editing. We also have the description of the event that we can put into place. And this is where we select our speaker. So again, if I'm going to be a co-organizer for this live session seven, and I'm going to determine the actual day that this take place, perhaps I'm going to have it take place from nine to 10, and this will be a Q&A session. I'll go ahead and add this in. I can also add more speakers other than myself. But now it's there listed. I can simply scroll over and see that a live session um, is going to take place on that Friday. We're looking at Wednesday now. Let me click over to Friday so you can see this new one I've just added. And the great piece is we can look at each individual day. I can see there's only one session on Thursday as opposed to what we have Friday and the varying sessions we have on Wednesday that are acting like breakout rooms that will be visible for your attendees to join. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. The last area I want to show you is the email. We want to, of course, give people a, a way to reply to 
the organizer when they see receive their invitation to register and that will direct it to the right organizer that's hosting this entire event for you. When we're ready to share the event, we simply come over to share and we'll go ahead and copy this registration link and then open it up so we can see what we've actually just created here. This is the registration that would be sent out to anyone you're inviting to this event. And here we can see the logo, the theme, the imaging. I have the place where I'll go through and register. I have my overview, my agenda, and then the speakers. So it's a great professional feel to go in and know exactly what's gonna be taking place, who the speakers are gonna be, what the individual days and sessions look like, and you'll have all the information you need once you register to go ahead and join the event. We hope you've enjoyed this overview of virtual events and the event dashboard and the setup and creation of everything that's possible with multiple sessions in GoToWebinar.